Princess Kate launched the Shaping Us campaign last month, aiming to increase public awareness of the significance of a child's first five years of life. Kate, Princess of Wales, is spearheading the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood's latest campaign, Shaping Us, which is focused on raising awareness of the importance of early childhood. The princess carried out a week of engagements, including a star-studded event at the BFTA and a visit to the University of Leeds, where she chatted with students on the Childhood Studies BA. Social media also played an important role in the campaign's kickoff, with the center opening a brand new Instagram account as part of its efforts. Meanwhile, on her own account, which she shares with her husband Prince William, Kate shared a throwback photograph taken during her own early years. As part of a photo-sharing initiative, the princess shared a picture of her as a baby reaching out toward her father Michael Middleton's face. The photo, taken by her mother Carol Middleton, shows Kate bearing a striking resemblance to her youngest child Prince Louis when he was a baby. Kate captioned the photo, Faces are a baby's best toy, before continuing. On Tuesday, we launched hashtag Shaping Us to raise awareness of the vital role our early years play in shaping the rest of our lives. This weekend, we'd love for you all to spend time with your friends, families, colleagues, and communities talking about your early childhoods and how they shaped your lives. I hope you'll also consider joining me in sharing a picture of yourselves before your fifth birthday to help with those conversations and to share some smiles and memories too. In response to Kate's call-out, several celebrities dipped into their family photo albums and shared their own childhood memories online. Candid photographs came from the likes of Victoria and David Beckham, Fern Cotton, Jamie Oliver, and Amanda Holden. However, as one royal commentator noted, other members of the royal family did not participate in the initiative. Speaking on the latest episode of the Royally Obsessed podcast, Co-host Roberta Fiorito said, I did want to say too, though, that it bothered me a little bit because I love the idea of sharing a picture of Kate as a baby and then so many celebrities from the UK and US and influencers shared their pictures of when they were little. But why did the royal family not participate? I wanted to see King Charles eye to eye as a baby or Prince William or Queen Camilla. I feel like the participation needs to be within, and it needs to start from within. I think that's one of my criticisms. The Shaping Us campaign has faced further criticism since its launch, with some slamming its aim to raise awareness rather than committing to action. Dottermine Conkbayer, a member of the practitioners of the early year sector, told Sky News, We are well accustomed to MPs and royalty visiting early year settings praising the invaluable work of practitioners from David Cameron to Gordon Brown and the Queen Consort. But nothing is done. The time has long passed for awareness. We need action, long-term investment and funding in the early years. She added, childcare providers are having to turn to food charities to provide nutritious meals for children, while stagnant government funding still is not being directed to the sector. The paltry government funding of early years that is provided does not cover the provision of any food. However, there is a limit to the Princess of Wales' ability to advocate for government programs, as senior royals are expected to remain politically neutral. As Fiorito explained, that's where this is so hard because the royals, as we historically know, really can't meddle in anything government-related or funding-related before admitting but awareness about the early years and their importance feels like something we all know is really important. Her co-host Rachel Bowie added, The royals, of course, have to tread so carefully with the political aspect of it. And I think that's where it comes across as so limited in terms of what they can actually do. Awareness isn't enough. Nevertheless, Kate's advocacy for the importance of children's early years has been described as her life's work, and Ems Fiorito and Ems Bowie claimed the princess intends to follow in the footsteps of some of her royal relatives. Likening it to Prince Philip's Duke of Edinburgh Award, Prince Harry's Invictus Games, and King Charles's Prince's Trust, Ems Bowie said, 